look, he, he, he's going to get every chance he is. I, I, I'm no knock on him at all here tonight. He's, he's a genuine winning, genuine winning chance. It's just whether you want to take a dollar eighty to find out. Yeah, exactly. All right, we've only got a little bit of time before we join up with Sky Racing One. So quickly, boys, your numbers starting with you, Patch. I've gone three here's tears on top. I just look. I'm sure we all agree on a, on pure ability. He's got a lot on these, and it's just about where he settles early. I think he'll settle behind the pace and really take over mid race. True Detective went for second. I think he'll lead before being burnt mid race. If his tears is right on his hammer. Third two Rockstar Prince and fourth from before Zipping Gallon. Look, for his sake, I'm hoping he can bring his confidence back over here. But from what we saw from him in Victoria, he's going to have a bit of work to do to win this. And Wiz quickly? I went 1 3 6 4. I'm with True Detective. I just thought Rockstar Prince was a little hang up to his tears early, and True Detective might get far enough in front of him. But as I said, I think six a hole is a good place bet. Eight, one and seven, Maywin's Courage, the winner, 420 and 110 from Jamie's Bad Boy and Pacific Drums. We're back for heat three of the Fandabale Super Stayers here at the Meadow 725. The journey, our short price favourite is Here's Tears coming out of a really strong group one last week against Just Terms. Wiz, is that where you're going here? No, I'm going to go one, three, six, four. Uh, I'm going to go trick, True Detective to beat Here's Tears. But I, look, I think it's a flip of the coin. I just think the negative for Here's Tears here is Rockstar Prince because he's got the pace to kick up inside Here's Tears initially. And that might just allow True Detective to get far enough in front of his tears to beat him. So I went one to beat three, but I, as I've been going to great lengths to explain on uh, on active, I really think Hadara Baila Place is a very good bet here, the six. Um, now look, assuming that one and three hit the frame, one, two, three somewhere, I know it then comes down to a match essentially between two, four and six. and. In that instance, I want to be with the six to beat the two and the four home. Uh, Rockstar Prince, a, a, a real dog of mine. Um, I have a reservation about him getting a strong 725. Zipping Gallon, I think, has been beating up on lesser opposition in South Australia. He now comes back to Melbourne where, in the past, he hasn't been good enough. He gets a long way back in his races. Uh, and I was... <laughs> I, I, I just haven't... I guess he hasn't grabbed me enough to suggest that he's improved at all. I, I don't think he has improved. I think he's just been going around in softer company. Uh, he can run. Look, I've got him there to run fourth. But as I said, I think the six Hadara Bale is a really, really nice each way bet here at 3.20. Uh, she'll, get, she'll get a fair way back. But she'll be hammering home late. And uh, she represents a little bit of value for me in the place market. All right, so the punters have this as a race in three at the moment. When you have a look at the betting, here's Tears Rock Solid now. $1.80 is going to be jumping. Our warm favourite here in Heat 3, the Fanta Bale Super Stayers. They're about to be boxed here. Still a little bit of time to get on, though, for race number six on the program. But we'll take you upstairs and join Ron Hawkswell to get his description here of the sixth here at the Meadows. The previous was a triumph. Aston Cade got the verdict by no. Starting signal, moving in, getting set. Moving in. Coming to line. Coming to line now, moving up, getting set. Moving up, True Detective in one, here's Tears in three. Reserve Bike Beauty. Kiyomara seven, Rockstar Prince in two, Zipping Gallon. Green light, ready to go. Heat three of the Superstars, they're boxed and ready to go. Set for a start. Ready now, racing. And so to begin there would have been a Dara balance speed on the inside there from True Detective. But certainly now from Rockstar Prince, two lengths away. Is his tears tracking wide third. Now getting a little close to the inside rail. About five lengths further back, then came Zipping Gallon. Uh, about two lengths away, then came Kiamar starting to make a little bit of ground, followed then by Black Beauty on the turn out of the straight and going out to the rear. There is a Dara Baum and screenshot down the far section they run. And the leader is True Detective by a length and a half clear. In second spot is his tears, ten lengths away. Zipping Gallon winding up and spots him a big start followed further back then by Black Beauty over on the inside of Dara Bale turning though True Detective the leader here's Tears trying to bridge the gap on the outside it's True Detective too good though True Detective first here's Tears second third spot about five lengths away Zipping Gallon followed by Black Beauty in behind them screenshot Kiyamara and Rockstar Prince and the time is around 42.12 be denied true detective. Jeezy was tough there. He had to pull out all the stops because his tears was absolutely flying after him. But that was a true gritty win from True Detective. Pays $2.8140. 104 for his tears. And they've gapped the rest of them. Zipping Gallon into third. Pays $2.20 whiz. But a good win. Yeah, absolutely. Um, all honours to True Detective. He just did everything that uh, he did everything I thought he would do pre-race. 
um, you know, in your mind's eye when you're going through how these races are going to be run, as we watch the replay now, it, it pretty much worked out how I thought that the checks just got in the way of the three yep. early. Otherwise, he probably lands, you know, a length and a half or even outside of True Detective early. And that, in the end, has probably been the deciding factor, the fact that the checks has just held the three up in the early stages from getting to the spot that he would have yep. needed to get to, not wanted to get to, but needed to get to in the end to beat True Detective, who's run 42-12, a 42-11. So, I mean, had he run that here last week, he'd have won the Zoom top. Exactly. Um, so, he's he's been a lot better here this week. Look, I was disappointed with True Detective last week, but leading up to last week, I thought, all right, he's really announced himself as a 700-metre dog now and he genuinely gets the trip, and we saw that here tonight. Oh, absolutely.